Hey everybody, it's Captain Krabs. In this tutorial I'm going to show you is how to make a cool looking 3D-ish shadow just like this one for your VTuber avatar or for a green screen. So to start what we're going to do is we're going to, you have your like VTube Studio uh, camera. We're going to make a new one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go file, video capture device. We're going to make a new one. I, I've already created one here, but you'll see called VTube Studio. I'm going to call it Shadow 2. And then you'll get your options menu. And then what you want to do is you want to select your VTuber studio camera or whatever camera you're using with the green screen. Set the resolution, like 1920 by 1080. Uh, if you want transparency for VTube Studio specifically, you check the format to ARGB, which is RGB with alpha. And okay. And you will have a layer like this. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take that layer and we're gonna right click on it, go filters. And we're gonna add a color correction, which is a default filter. We're gonna take the brightness all the way down. We're also gonna take the opacity way down. Then we're gonna add another filter called blur. And we're gonna add a little bit of a box blur on it. Just to add a little subtleness. Okay, so we have the shadow, so then we're gonna go with filters again. And on the filters thing, we're gonna to go to this filter called 3D Transform. And I'll have a link for this down below. And in here, to really just tilt it, all you have to do is go down to the rotation. And like, you wanna rotate the pitch. See, like this, to give it that 3D effect. All right, so now we got this thing. As you can see, here's the shadow. So all we gotta do is drag that layer below our normal layer, position it where the shadow needs to be, and boom, 3D shadow, yay! And the cool thing is you can drag it around, and the shadow pretty much stays where it needs to on the ground, which is kinda cool. It will clip off if depending on the size, but. Yeah, so that's a neat little trick to do a shadow. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and comment if you have any questions or any other tutorials you wanna see. Uh, like this video and uh, we'll see you soon, bye.